effective strategies to email marketing. If you decided to use email connecting to grow your organization and its mission, then let me congratulate you on this very wise decision. Your members are segmented specifically to their interests, classes, and or ministries. Plan includes everything from uh, some of these reoccurring, reoccurring revenue stream options, uh, like senior housing, uh, like some mixed use, some commercial retail, uh, charter schools, elementary school, high school. It contains a little bit of everything. This particular church uh, went from a, uh, an, a, sun, a weekly attendance of 1,200 to a weekly attendance of over 5,000 in four months. We're all on a treasure hunt for kindness. We are all looking for someone to treat us nice. And you can see it in somebody's face when they pick up a baby, we play with a puppy. We are all attracted to unconditional love. Would you agree? But that only starts when we put ourselves out there. And so I, I've come up with a thing I call windows of contact. It basically says I'm just like you. Or my favorite untrained salesperson. So how are you today? Can I help you? Wait, which question? Wait, how am I? But if you will take the time and take that circle of business owners and spend time with those business owners. And you're, you're, you're telling them what the Lord says and, what, and, and giving them the faith to believe, you'll see that that could be an incredible stream of revenue. You've got to have an excellent plan and then you've got to execute that plan in excellence in order to be successful. Total Ministry Makeover, the blueprint for tomorrow's church. Now some of you are sitting there going, Victor, you don't know me. You can't judge me. You don't know what I'm going through right now. You don't understand me. bring up the G word because nobody ever wants to talk about the G word goals See, to Finney, it was merely a simple decision that one needed to make because he saw man as being morally neutral concerning good and evil. And if it was just a matter of getting man to correctly decide, then Finney rationalized that all a preacher needed to do was to persuade a man, present the right arguments, involve the emotions, and then close the deal. In essence, the preacher becomes nothing more than a good salesman. None of these prospects seem much good. Well, they're the best I've got, so I'll stay with them. <laughs> 